There are a couple different looks that can be achieved with paper stone, depending on how much the surface is sanded. For this process, we recommend the following supplies. Lacquer thinner, paper towels, orbital sanders, sanding grits of 120, 180, 240, and maroon Scotch-Brite. Paper stone comes with a natural surface texture that provides a heavy matte finish. If this look is desired, a light buffing process with the maroon Scotch-Brite pad on an orbital sander will lightly buff the surface without removing much of the surface texture, thus maintaining the natural appearance. If a more polished appearance is desired, paper stone can be sanded similarly to solid surface to remove the surface texture which will provide a higher level of sheen. Before we dive into surface sanding, let's go over the process used when sanding the exposed edges of the countertop. We will be using a sanding progression with grits of 120, 180, and 240. Step 1. Sand the exposed edges with 120 grit sandpaper on an orbital sander. Continue sanding until the machine and or saw blade marks are no longer visible. Then clean the edge with lacquer thinner. Step 2. Repeat this step first with the 180 grit sandpaper, and last with a 240 grit sandpaper. Once the edges are finished, you can turn your attention to the surface. Step 3. First, we will show you how to maintain the natural matte finish. This is done by buffing the entire surface very evenly and consistently with a maroon Scotch-Brite pad on an orbital sander. Pattern sanding is a good method of doing so. Step 4. Clean the surface and exposed edges with a solvent and let dry. If the surface is the desired sheen you are looking for, the countertop is ready to be finished as per our finishing paper stone video. If you prefer a smoother, higher sheen look, here is how you achieve it. Step 5. Starting with the 120 grit sandpaper, lightly sand the entire surface with an orbital sander. Pattern sanding is strongly recommended to ensure a consistent sheen. Step 6. A quick cleaning step with a solvent, such as denatured alcohol or acetone, between each sanding grit, will remove dust and aid in sanding swirl prevention. Step 7. Repeat the sanding process with the 180 grit sandpaper, and then the 240 grit sandpaper. Step 8. After cleaning the surface again with a solvent, buff the entire surface with a maroon scotch bright pad. One last cleaning step and you are ready to apply the finish. Please visit our website for more instructional videos.